Today, everywhere I go, something is being built. Ghana has reported that there have been 85,000 residential property transactions for both sales and rentals every year over the past decade. Since I arrived, I've noticed that Accra has undergone some major changes, witnessing a number of luxury gated villa developments, from high-end apartments to luxury gated villa developments. This is Richard. He works for Incept. Incept constitutes well-qualified and widely experienced architects. Their mission is to provide cutting-edge services to their clients that culminate unique and timeless world-class designs and solutions. Time for breakfast. This is recovery, recovery, recovery. Oh man, this is too much. Dirty December is too, too much. Recovery meal. This is what you call a recovery meal. Ladies and gentlemen, the watch has arrived. Look at this. So no, I've been told it's a no spoon thing. Straight hands, straight hands. Straight hands kind of eye. Oh. This is a, a momentous occasion. You know, you gotta savor these moments. You gotta savor it. Uh, that's right. You know, so you mix everything with it. What is this? What, what mean is this one? Well, it, so it's, it's um, so it's goat. So like the skin. The skin of the goat. Yeah. Ah. So they, they like they burn off all the um, I mean, they flip the the hairs the hair and everything. Because it's got this jelly soft. Yeah. So it's very soft. Soft texture. Mmm. Mmm. very nice. I like it. It all adds up to the to the uh, assorted or the spiciness mm, of the mm, taste mm, of the food. Mm, 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 mm. We hit the road to check out some of the properties that Incept are developing in Accra. It's frozen, isn't it? So this uh living room. So this will be a living room? Your dining kitchen. Dining kitchen, yeah. Yeah, so you don't have like a planter like the apartment. Like right. Back there, but it's not garden. Yes, 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 yes. Like that here. Yes. So, the guest room. Yeah. Music, guest room. Mmm. family area and yeah, the master bedroom starts from here so the master bedroom wow. the room, closet. how long does it take to build one of these houses well, it depends mm. mostly it's between it's eight to twelve months okay if we have the funds yeah and everything is set to go right everything nice eight to twelve months we yeah finish it. wow yeah it's and it's becoming a, a lucrative business now I'm saying that the houses they, they sold for like fifty thousand dollars about 10, 15 years ago are yeah. selling like way higher than wow. I mean so I mean it's, it's an it's a, it's a, we have the vision. It's a good investment. Yes, yes, yes. Real yes, estate yes. always goes up. There's there's always increase in iron rolls, right. increase in right. cement. I mean, so there's always profit to be made in real estate. Even if you just buy the land, right. you just keep well, it, it's always going to appreciate. And what what type of what type of people do you get buying? The, the, these these kind of properties. No, I mean all, all over. Yeah. Um, um, foreigners, Ghanaians, yeah, expatriates, everybody. Yeah, everybody. yeah, I mean, yeah. So yeah, far yeah, as yeah. they like, I mean, um, this area is a very calm, peaceful area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, few minutes drive, you get to the markets, you get to your banks, you get to where you want to hang out. Everything. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, just yeah. like the perfect location. Right. So right. anybody, just like it, somebody who says a hot kick area. Yes, yes, yes. yes, so yes everybody yes, just yes. wants to come and live in there. Right. In a very peaceful community and with their families, and I mean, yeah. what type, so so when we talk about properties, mm -hmm. where what type of properties are people uh, gravitating towards to? Because you know we've got apartments, we've got yeah, bare, I mean, three bedroom. Yeah, houses. basically it, it depends on what the individual wants, but mostly I would say people want affordable and 
family houses. What's an affordable family house? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's an affordable family house? So, 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 so I mean, oh, that? I mean, housing is, I mean, I would say house. affordable because mm. everybody has a standard of what is affordable and what is not affordable. That's right. So, for instance, we have this type of ceiling. We call it, we just, we use, we call it roofing tracks. It's, it's a particular company called Raincoat. Right. So instead of using regular wood that we use, I mean, old houses use wood for these things. It's mm. just a, stra- um, a material that they use. Mm. It's expensive though, mm. but then you don't have issues of having an, um, what, treating the wood before using it. Yeah. Or having maybe some insects chewing on it. Chewing on it, yeah. You can see like little yes, 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 yes. foamy things, like yes. dusty things. Yes. You don't have it. You never have it. It's forever. It's expensive. But then it's an option. It's durable. Exactly. So right. Affordable house. If somebody can decide, I okay, use wood. And after a few years. This design is becoming very popular now, isn't yes. it? This, this sort of design. Uh, Ghana back in the day, I remember, they loved the pillars. Oh. Now, now you have cantilevers and it's nice. Cantilevers is we better. It, yeah. We call it the cantilever. So when it comes out, it doesn't have a pillar, it's like it's hanging. It's hanging, we call yeah. It the cantilever. Why is it about more than a pillar? Because if you have pillars, mm. this, it limits your space. You're right. Somebody will put a pillar here. Right. I mean, it limits your space and it, and it makes the house look. It's, it's, it's big. <laughs> it's big, yeah. yeah. How quickly do these houses go? So once it's done, how you know, long, you know, on average? People are skeptical, for instance, if we, we give you a design that you want you to come and buy at um, off plan. Off plan yeah. means that I mean, we are just about to do it. Yeah. People, ask, people like to see it up, they feel like, yes, yeah, it's okay, okay yeah. I can understand it. Yeah. They, they jump on board. Right. So we put a lot of investment in trying to put out the structure so right. people understand the building and walk through and everything. That's right. And we ask, okay, yes, we want it. As at the time, so it, the advantage of buying it at offline is you can get it for a lesser price. But right. when it goes, when it's done, it goes higher. Higher. Yeah. So that's right. Yeah, that's so right. When, when you, you know, at least you come in, you see the structure. Okay, I like it. Okay, then let's let's do it. But it's okay. trusting the people to finish the job off exactly. Exactly. How so you now want. we can tell you that we can finish the job off. Yeah. Just like how we said we're doing from what you are seeing now. Yes. 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 You yes, know yes. you have you. We are not giving you something that we are not doing. Right. This, that's what is there. It's in the that's picture. Right. It's in the three D. It's in the structure. Right. So right. Then, right. 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 It looks, it looks, it looks incredible. You get the exact same thing. Hopefully the same cars outside. <laughs> yes, that's the mission. I'm, I'm Hopefully enough. the same cars yeah, outside exactly. for the ballers. <laughs> Calm, quiet, peaceful, family residential area. Can't complain. This is truly, truly stunning. Stunning place to just live. You know what I mean? Just chill out. I could, I could see myself living here for sure. It will be very exciting to see what happens in the next eight to 12 months when it's finished. Um, I'll be back by then for another dirty December. <laughs> but it's truly stunning. It's this is one of Incept's award-winning architectural designs known as The Arc. While there are several luxury projects underway, the provision of affordable housing remains a political talking point. Currently, the country's housing deficit is in excess of 1.7 million. Last week on my travels to Abri, I spoke to Kojo about how the property development industry is affecting local Ghanaians. How is the property development in Accra helping a normal, average worker? How is it helping? Because I feel as if the they're not benefiting. That's a, that's a very good question. You know, that's a very good question. Because mm. it's fine. So sometimes I ask myself, why are these people actually building these properties? For? Mm. Because mm. a normal, like an average Ghanaian can't afford that. No. They can't afford that. No. 
and and so that's why it is like you know the owners of the government to actually come up with this whole um, affordable housing for the people. Mm. But one thing about the government too is that we build the houses, you know, are places where people can you know get access to. That's let's right. say water, you know. Yeah. Transportation. Transportation. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. These yeah. people are hustlers. They need yeah. places which is very close to exactly. town. You know, always on the and move. Also, exactly, always on the move. Mm. So they need place always which is like very close to town. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, because of the, the cost of transportation. Yeah. I can't live in my brother. I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. The, the Traffic. cost of trans transportation alone can even eat up all your your, your wow. entire salary. Yeah, wow. of course. So, just imagine someone who is just hustling. You know, he doesn't even have the time. Right, talk of time, talk yeah. of money. Yeah. So they all want a place. So some people do even sleep at the station, That's at the right. market places, and all of these things. So sometimes I even ask myself, well, we have a lot of real estate properties in Accra, but who are these people actually building? That's for? right. That's a question that we should be asking ourselves. That's who right. are these people actually building? For? That's right. Well, if we really want everyone to benefit, then I think there has to be more ways. You know, the government needs to actually put in the proper structures, which is actually going to make everyone benefit. Because oh, one of okay. the problems that we are facing, like mm -hmm. for the youth, is, is employment. Mm -hmm. That's one big problem mm -hmm. and so i'm thinking well i mean there are no employments there and people are still building houses yeah a time will come where i mean because sometimes you you walk through an, a, an apartment right so yeah. let's say you go to east, east legon mm -hmm. cantonment mm -hmm. you walk through an apartment at, in the late in the night mm. and then you realize that most of the lights there are off so just ask yourself who is sleeping there nobody nobody's sleeping there so just build it exactly so if people would sleep there unless maybe festive seasons mm. where Accra is like like that's december right. you know that's, that right. is december. That, that's, december, that's yeah. where people come so that's of course right. everyone those places are going to choke and, I'm, yeah. and when it happens like that those the prices also goes up mm -hmm. you know the higher the demand the higher the price also right. goes up I have been invited for the launch of one of INSEP's state-of-the-art luxury apartments based in cantonments. Through what we have here. Uh, so, what, what have we got here? Yeah, we have gizzard. Gizzard, yeah. We have um, this is the turkey. Turkey, yeah. This is the turkey. This is okay, the turkey. This is the chicken. Okay. Chicken kebab. Chicken kebab, yeah. yeah. And this is pork. This is pork, pork ribs. Yeah. Yam chips. Yam chips. Oh, wow. And then Yam we chips. Chili willy. Famous kill willy. Famous. Yeah, and then fish fillet. Fish fillet. And some granos to go with the kill willy. No worries. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have samosas yeah. and we have spring rolls. I'm not sure what's in there, <laughs> but Are it's you? gonna be a good surprise, y'all. This is Cecil Abbe. He is the CEO of Incept. He is the visionary behind a lot of these incredible architectural designs. He said this, he wanted that. I stopped listening to him because I just said, how can I squeeze myself in? We're right next to the um, vice president's house. You know, lovely view. We are just finished an apartment block over here. And we came here and we did this. You know, it's just been a blessing. And whatever I get, you all know me. I try to push on all of you. If you're my friend, if you're my relative, if I care for you. So what we thought was, yes, we're just going to talk about these flats. Every morning I look out at all the available lands and I dream that one day we'll all build, you know, we'll get a piece of land and also build an apartment block. So just look through, get inspired, it's a one bedroom. You know, we've got all sorts of art pieces. We're going to do, we're going to launch um, art apartments. Where apartments will have art and stuff. It's just not an apartment place to stay. But you go, you get rich with later, blah, blah, blah. So have a look at it. you make of this apartment from first impressions? I love it. Really? I love it. I mean, the square footage is little, but because of the way it's been set up, mm. the, I guess, with the recession lights in here, yeah, yeah. and the nooks, it gives yeah. it a lot of space. You feel cramped. No, exactly, exactly. You don't feel cramped. Exactly. Um, good use of space. Mm. And modern. Yeah. 
I know, right? Okay, this gets an A plus right here. Love it. <laughs> hey, love it. Is this? Is do you think? Is this is the direction it's, it's heading in now in Ghana, with with the? I was just talking to my husband. We just got married. He's he's not from here. You're right. But I would like a situation where I can come, lock the door, and walk out, leave the country when I want to, and then come back when and, and not to. need like the staff to clean or whatever. Right. Lock the door and leave. That's right. And you can come back. So this is perfect. Right. It's, it's self-contained. Yeah. You don't need help cleaning because mm. it's so little. It's very little. Yeah. And lock the door. Mm. No garden boy. Nah, no yeah, house yeah, yeah. help. Nothing. That's right. It's all, it's all done. That's right. I like it. I mean, people like me who are back and forth. Yeah. It's perfect. Um, it's a I don't like the bed being like right here. Right. But then I love what go what goes on behind the bed because That's the it thing. just. It's it's it, it it gives you the the proper effect and the thought behind mm. um, the whole the whole the whole section. I said the same thing. I said I will, I will want something retractable here, some type of separation. Yeah. Mm. I, I'm, I I don't like it, but I get why it's being done because then you get the thought process. Right. Yes, that that you can see it here, but it's actually taken away. Yeah. At the mm. same time. Mm. Right. So once you bring it in, it's very simple. Mm. That's how we all think. Sure. Mm. Yeah. It takes away from the design. I I, I I don't like it as well. I'd, I'd be like, I'd like my bedroom to be screened off. But then you come in like, oh wow, actually. So it's like an invisible wall. Mm. Right? So that has been an yeah. invisible wall effect. What like about this apartment? Any the, oh, the sense of space definitely yeah. is, is no more done because the Was it deceiving walking in or what, from outside? It was. Did you feel as if though there wouldn't be much space? Um, I think you get hit with different things as you come in. Mm. So you walk in, this, the doorway is like that. Mm. Then you walk in and you the space. Open you space. Open, open space. Yeah. Yeah. You turn around with a little space there. Yeah. And then you come in, there's another space. It's almost That's like right. you're discovering new things in the same square. That's right. Yeah, I'm sure. I, li I, like, I, li I like that concept. This, is, this has been well really? done. Have you seen anything like this in Ghana before? No, I haven't. I personally haven't. Do you the think people would like this, the general public? They would. Mm -hmm. They would. Most people are looking for smaller spaces now because of the price point. Mm. So having a small space where they can have everything mm. is going to be extremely convenient for a lot of the middle class and up and rising mm. um, residents, uh, citizens of the, of the country. Mm. And many people who are earning enough money who could afford something like this, they don't want too much space. They want mm. to be able to travel, they want to come back to mm. a place, you know, rent a tower, have an Airbnb. Mm. And what a perfect Airbnb. Yeah. yeah it's, Absolutely. It's, it's just the concept, it's just amazing. And, um, yeah. People can appreciate that art. You can have apartments with a different theme mm. with the artwork. And so it just takes you to a different part of the world or a different part of Ghana. Mm. You know, you can just rearrange things in here to, to reflect some of things mm. like that. I like it. The other thing I like a lot is the green on the balcony. Yes, 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 yes. Because I love nature. That's right. So being able to see that green makes me feel like I'm on ground. That's like right. It, it takes away that height. I like the view, but the green makes me feel like I'm on terra firma. It's very hard to so, get nature in an apartment. Very, very. But this has been done. And even though it's a small space, it, it still gives you that sense of nature. That's right. Yeah. Okay. What do uh, what's, yeah. what do you, what do you make of the apartment scene in Ghana right now? Because it's, it's, it's a big scene. I feel like apartment scene is it's the issue. Yeah. 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 What do you make of it? Well, for me to be able to come into town mm. and if it's a if it's a cozy environment, mm. it's awesome because you get to you know um, do your business in town mm. and still get away from the hustle and bustle. These apartments are quite, yeah. quite pricey. Well, um, in design, we, we study design ethics. Yeah. We try to balance it out for everyone Good. to enjoy our work. But I think, to be honest, a lot of the stuff we do um, are not targeted um, in the direction of the people who are maybe low income, if you call them. I don't usually like using terms like that because yeah. they degrade people. But if they are happy, I don't think they are low income. But we always look forward to balancing the equation for everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. But to be honest, in 
Accra right now, the properties we produce, um, they are not affordable to everybody. It's not, that's not the case. We have so many um, issues with affordable housing and they end up not being affordable. You have an affordable housing unit going for $30,000. Right. And the average Ghanaian, I think even the government worker who is a nurse or a teacher cannot afford that. That's right. So now you think about the guys on the streets. There you go. Nothing close, right? So that's right. So how, we, do, how do we bridge that gap then? How, how, how we do we do it? it? So the, I think we need the government to bridge that gap. The government has to come in. Elsewhere, social housing, they don't call it affordable housing, they yeah. call it social housing. Right. And social housing is usually funded by the government, mm. not um, private citizens building mm. affordable housing. Mm. And the way affordable housing is done in Ghana is not really funded by the government. Mm. So someone has to make his money back. Mm. But elsewhere, it's um, taxes taken from the people mm. and then allocated to social programs mm. that take care of social um, issues like poor housing. 100%. So yeah, so it has to be the government that bridges the gap. Yeah, property development in Ghana is booming. It's famous, isn't it? It's fair to say that INSET have a passion for detail. The firm portrays the hand of God in its designs, ensuring that all projects are client-led, detail-oriented, analytically intense and executed with varying innovative design solutions.